Winter fashion trends of 2024 and some, some of the winter fashion trends of 2024 are absolutely ridiculous. And I'll talk about those, but I'm also going to talk about the winter fashion trends of 2024 that I can also wear as a woman who's in her 60s. Now, the first ridiculous fashion trend for the winter is skirts over trousers. And OK, you might say, well, that's not that ridiculous. It would be ridiculous on me let's say. And we're talking about short skirts that, a like, bit like school, school uniform skirts over some wide leg trousers. Trying too hard, people would say. Trying too hard, look at her. But another trend, another trend that would be absolutely ridiculous on me, and actually I think probably ridiculous on most people, is trouserless. And I don't mean wearing a skirt or a dress. I mean trouserless. Nothing on you. Nothing. Bare legs. Absolutely ridiculous on me in my 60s. I am not going there. I am not following the trouserless trend, believe me. But also, I am not doing that shorts trend either, particularly, particularly in the winter. Now, in the summer, yeah, I'll wear shorts, but they're going to be those classic shorts that we tend to wear in the summer. Not a fashion statement. I'm not wearing these little micro fashion statement shorts. No, 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 no. Even though my legs aren't that bad. Now, trends are on the runways and in the magazines and in fashion magazines and so on are often actually quite ridiculous. They are the extremes. And sometimes a way to actually establish what really is going to be what we're going to be wearing is one, obviously, to look at the shops, but two, have a look at TV shows because they will often pick up the trends we're going to be wearing early, like Brown was in succession, for instance, really early on. Now, which came first? Did, did Brown become on trend because of succession or did succession choose to use that because they knew brown was coming on trend i'm often looking at these detective shows and so on and i see that characters are wearing items that even though it's filmed a while ago maybe that are on trend now so that's a, a way of actually establishing what we're going to really wear now how many characters do you see walking around trouserless do you see that in that todd program do you see it in succession no, I'll tell you where you do see it in Ghosts. There's one character that's trouserless is that, that's there, but I don't think that's a fashion statement. But then on the other hand, I was watching Todd and, I forget what it's called, Todd and, Todd and Me or whatever it's called, and the mum's wearing this. I would say this is an example of the bow trend. A little bit preppy, very preppy. What were they thinking? I don't think that is what we're going to be wearing. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I think that's just a bit extreme, which is unusual for that programme. It's unusual for a TV show anyway to be that extreme. But I have just detoured, haven't I? So back to covering up the legs. Midi skirts, maxi skirts, no slits. That's where I'm going. And wide leg or straight leg trousers. If I'm wearing boots, perfectly happy to wear skinny jeans tucked inside the boots because there's nothing more practical than that inside a pair of wellies or inside a pair of up to the knee boots. Regardless of the fact that skinny jeans aren't on trend, but inside your boots, nobody can see that. So who cares? And also in my town, no one cares. But another one we can wear and adapt and actually will be flattering. You remember the 1980s power dressing, the big shoulders, well, shoulder pads, that is nothing more flattering than shoulder pads inside a cardigan to give it structure. It's so much less frumpy. And I'll link some shoulder pads down below. But it's a perfect opportunity to wear those shoulder pads. Pretend as you're wearing them that it's because it's a, you, you, you're on the, the sort of the, the power uh, hourglass trend. You won't be looking like a Dallas Victoria principal throwback. Now Sherpa's another one that I can wear and I love because I'm slightly boho. This is a better than natural in me. You know, his style personality is natural, is, is, is mine. And so that's why I wear denim so much. And that does hark back to a little bit to the 1970s Starsky and Hutch type era, along with double denim, which is also on trend. So you could do the two together. You could, you could do a Starsky and Hutch look and look right on trend. But at our age, it could be that people say, oh, look, she still thinks she's in the 1970s. Might not look quite right. On the other hand, if our daughters or granddaughters wore it, it might look absolutely great and totally trendy and fashionable. So I've got a shirling jacket that I absolutely adore. I will link it down below and I'll find you some other items as well, but it's a perfect opportunity to get hold of that natural, you know, if you like natural fibres, to get hold of your natural fibre, slightly boho jacket. 
But I do have a website. I'll keep up to date with items. So whenever you're watching this video, click on the website here, my, my scan this, you will go and see what's currently in the, in the shops that you can shop. Another one you could wear, well, I could wear if I had it, and that is tartan, because that's quite a big trend, apparently, for the winter. Yeah, if I go out and about, I don't see anybody in tartan. But if you've got tartan and you want to wear it, it's perfect. I'm not going to shop for tartan, but you might have some plaid tartan scarves around, so wear them. The other one we can go for, I was talking about succession, ladylike is still fashionable and trendy and it's going to be all year. I've already said that in another video, but we're talking about specifically about winter fashion trends. So, you know, you want those um, ladylike jackets that uh, I can link down below and I've got a couple of them and I do love wearing them, but I don't think when I'm wearing them, anybody in my town is saying, oh look, Amory's looking really fashionable. They're just saying, oh, that's a nice jacket. Then colors, again, my town I don't think really cares, but brown, red, gray very in theory dominant but if i go around and i go into a bar i don't see a bit of dominance of brown red and gray but a trend that i could wear and won't be out of, out of date because that's the idea really if we're wearing these we're not going to be old-fashioned let's say maybe that's a better way of looking at it and leather leather trousers leather skirts leather jackets leather coats leather trench coats so i've got a beautiful leather trench coat now the way to wear coats this year is long I'm not going to go there because that's going to date. So I'm perfectly happy wearing my leather trench coat. That's fine for me. I'm not going to go and spend a fortune on a maxi coat. I don't think anybody in my life is ever going to say to me, in my current life, is going to say to me, oh, look, your, co your coat's out of date. They're going to say, oh, that's a lovely leather trench coat. Where did you get it? That's what they're going to say. Anyway, yes, I'm, if you want a maxi, I'll list some down below. If not, what I recommend, I recommend getting a classic leather below the knee raincoat. No, trench coat. They're lovely and they won't, I don't think they all date and I don't think they look old fashioned now. And it's also going to be the year to stock up on your leather jackets, your moto jackets, your leather blazers. And if you've got them, wear them this winter. Wear them over jumpers. Um, wear the leather skirts with a cosy sweater or a turtleneck skinny rib sweater, wear the leather trousers that way and put leather with leather. And I'm saying, I, you know, it can, it can be either faux leather or real leather. It doesn't have to be the real. But you know what I mean? It's that leather look. Then coats. I mentioned coats just now. So oversized coats. And yeah, I'm enjoying that look. I've got an oversized camel coat that I have worn so much, a wool coat. And it was from Petite Studio, so it just fit, it fits me perfectly. But it's not too long. It's not down to my ankles, but it is sort of mid, mid calf, and um, it's big enough for me to put jumpers and sweaters underneath and to get that oversized look. But it's not like I'm wearing a big six foot four man's coat. It's not like that. It's not giving me that look, and that's the look I really do not want. And another one is then the scarf coat. So uh, if you've got a scarf coat, wear it. This is a year to wear it. I am not gonna buy a scarf coat. I would buy a coat that's got a scarf that matches it and it's detachable or detached. I wouldn't buy one that is attached because that is just gonna go out of date in a couple of years. So why do that? The puffers, a sensible coat to wear in the frost and the snow. I know, I know, some you know, you've said that they're never, then puffer's never going to be chic. Absolutely right, it's never really going to be chic. But it can be fashionable and it can be practical. And this year, apparently, they are fashionable. But that doesn't stop me any every other winter wearing a, a puffer coat because they're just sensible once it's snowing and once it gets down to sort of like minus five. That's what I want to be wearing. My wool coats don't work. I need a puffer. So... This year, puffers being on trend, time to get one for this winter. If you've got one, wear it because you will look fashionable, but do not get them just to the waist. No, 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 because you will go out in that freezing cold, your tummy be warm, but your rear and your legs will be so cold. Believe me, I have had coats like that before. And I swore that whenever I get myself a winter coat in the future, and I have done ever since, is it got to be at least to the knees. Yeah. At least to the knees. And while we're talking about outside Uggs, but not how we wore them, what, 10 years ago? 
they're not as high as that they're a lot smaller just above the ankle yeah so if that kind of um, appeals to you or keep the feet warm and you will look fashionable then yes stock up on those if you want to wear them indoors as slippers also absolutely perfect because they're not the uh, taller ones that we were wearing then so the ankle ankle height is absolutely perfect for as an indoor slipper and keeps your ankles cozy and warm then when it's really cold another one that i can wear and i absolutely do love wearing is the statement cardigan and i so we're not wearing those cardigans that come to mid-size that are skinny they've got pockets at the front you know and um just really slim line and, and slim streamed you know that's a bit what i'd call mumsy nowadays so it's a statement cardigan it's the oversized grandpa cardigan or um anyway they generally got a, a v v neck they've got big buttons last year they had puff shoulders this year they haven't but they're just um shorter and wider than that classic st streamlined cardigan and accessories accessories are really our friend this year and they're accessories that we have worn in the past and may well own in fact in my case I have got a lot of the accessories that are on trend and I do not need to buy more. So if you want to find the out about that, then you're going to want to watch this video.